Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV for your weekend baseball preview for both Saturday and Sunday. My weekend segment, I'm going to talk about a series that was just a bit outside for making my best bet card. A free play on the late Saturday night card for you. Also, some information you can use for the same games on Sunday as well. So be sure to stay tuned here for that information. It's coming up in just a moment. Quick reminder, if you're joining me on Saturday, I do have two nighttime best bets for baseball and basketball. Two national TV winners for Saturday night, including the late ESPN playoff game at 9.30 Eastern tonight on Saturday. Also, a strong lineup for Sunday baseball and basketball as well. So go to my page right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com for strong NBA and MLB playoff best bets for both Saturday night and Sunday as well this Memorial Day weekend. Don't forget, the best deal is a direct subscription. We have a strong special going right now. Seven days for just $77. Promo code FLAG77. FLAG77 gets you seven days all sports for just $77. Right now on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, let's get to some free baseball information for you for this week. And I'm going to look at a late game Saturday night. Also, you can use this information for the afternoon game on Sunday. And that's the Cardinals Diamondbacks series. First talked about this back on Thursday when this four game series began. Right after I posted the video on Thursday afternoon, we got a pitching change and Peacock no longer was going for Arizona. Uh, so it scratched that information. Arizona lost that game by one. But I pointed out that the D-backs were on a long skid. And now it's 12 games. They lost again on Friday night, 8-6. They've now lost 12 straight games heading into this weekend series against St. Louis. Cardinals, though, are not exactly playing as well as the recent three-game winning streak would indicate. Let's keep in mind, when the three-game winning streak began last Wednesday at Chicago, a 4-0 win in which they only had five hits in the entire game, they actually allowed Chicago six hits, and the White Sox had 13 runners left on base, yet somehow St. Louis escaped with a 4-0 win. I thought they were a little overrated coming into this series. Yes, they've won two straight. Uh, but they got a near 5-4 win Thursday, as I mentioned, on just nine hits. Meanwhile, the uh, the D-backs in that game, only seven hits, nothing special. But then last night on Friday, St. Louis puts up eight runs on just six hits with only six runners left on base. Uh, they were not hitting the ball well once again. Meanwhile, Arizona, only six runs last night, but they had 11 hits and left 13 runners on base. The D-backs should have won last night on Friday, and I think that's the buy signal. You know, you've often heard me say, I don't like to try to catch a falling knife, and <laughs> There's no question the Diamondbacks' 12 straight losses are a fallen knife right now. But I think we saw a little bit of a turnaround last night as they were the better offensive team. And we now get a favorable pitching matchup here today. Um, Arizona's really been doing pitching by committee, bullpen by committee here. They don't have much to go with, and that's why they are struggling, by the way. It's more the uh, pitching problems or the offensive problems. Frank Koff going tonight. He's only made two starts in the season, a week 7.3 ERA. It's hard to make a case for him. But I do think there's some value going against Adam Wainwright, the Cardinals starter tonight. And here's the reason. He's a veteran who's always pitched much better at home in Bush Stadium. On the season, he's had six home starts this year, a 2.4 ERA and a very strong 0.98 whip, walks and hits per innings pitch, which I think is the best overall metric to look at. What about his three road starts? He's had one good road start, two terrible road starts. Overall, 8.6 ERA and a 1.83 whip in those three road starts. Most, maybe the most extreme home, dichotom, home road dichotomy for any pitcher in baseball this year is Adam Wainwright. And now he has to go to Chase Field with, after Coors Field, Colorado. Chase Field at Arizona is probably the second most hitter-friendly ballpark in the National League. So I think he struggles tonight. I think the D-backs are worth a look as an underdog for that reason. We also get a sharp square divide on this game. The most public play for Saturday night in Major League Baseball is the Cardinals. The public is all over them. Yet this line has dropped from $1.30 to $1.25. This afternoon on Saturday, sharp money's on the D-backs, the square money's on the Cardinals, and I think we get a little bit of a sneaky pitching matchup here going against Wainwright on the road. So Arizona Diamondbacks plus $1.25 are worth a look tonight. The over could also be worth a look if Wainwright explodes and Frank Koff remains bad like he's been, over 10, maybe some value. But I think the underdog's the best way to play this one. Arizona D-backs snap that 12-game losing streak tonight on Saturday. That's a game that was just a bit outside for making my best bet card. Once again, maybe worthy of a 1% to 2% opinion play, as these free plays often are. Uh, don't forget a strong 4% national TV best bet in Major League Baseball for Saturday night. Also, the late ESPN game at 9.30 Eastern Saturday night. Also a 4% best bet in the NBA. That's on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com right now. Looking ahead to the Sunday matchup here. Um, it looks like it's going to be Kim for St. Louis. Uh, the left-handed for South Korea is going to be on the mound after losing against the White Sox last week. And keep in mind, the White Sox are now... 25 and 3 
the last two seasons against left-handed starters. You can understand why Kim struggled a bit mid-game there. He actually pitched well until he gave up a big home run. They were about to pull him, and they left him in for one extra hitter, and he gave up the game-winning home run against Chicago earlier in the week. Look for a possible bounce back from him here, but I think he might struggle here in Chase Field. No starter listed yet for Arizona. I've seen Peacock. Another side I saw has Martin listed. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, it's basically started by committee here with a bad Arizona bullpen. Uh, so Sunday's game may be high score, and we'll see where that total comes out. Uh, but once again, I think the D-backs win at least one of these two games. I look for them at an underdog price on both Saturday and Sunday. I do think the corner is starting to turn. And once again, going back to the Cardinals just being an overrated offensive team right now, despite three straight wins, they've had six hits or less in two of those. And then you go to the three losses before that, they scored one run in two of those three games. They had six hits or less in two of those three. So the Cardinals have now scored had six hits or less in four of their last six games. So even in hitter-friendly chase field, I think they're an overvalued commodity. So once again, I like Arizona tonight, plus $1.25 on Saturday as a free play here on this video. And once again, looking ahead tomorrow and Sunday, we'll see where the pitching matchup comes. I would like Peacock better than Martin if possible. That's the guy I mentioned on Thursday's video, and then he was scratched. He's actually been better as a starter this year than out of the bullpen. Um, so I think Arizona as a dog, once again, Sunday could be worth a look. So that's a weekend series I wanted to preview here for you. Uh, once again, St. Louis at Arizona. The late game tonight on Saturday, by the way, goes at 10 p.m. Eastern. The Sunday game goes at 4 p.m. Eastern. Take a look at the Arizona Diamondbacks, a game that was just a bit outside for making my best bet card. Hey, hope you like this video. Hope you like the free content. Hope it's a, uh, beneficial to your handicapping as well. I always try to provide as much information as possible on these videos because I know many of you are doing your own handicap and you take this quite seriously as well and treat this as a long-form investment as I have for the past 25 years, a very profitable long-term investment. Don't forget, if you'd like to start treating this as an investment, the best way to do it is with the direct subscription. Seven days for $77 is a fantastic value right now at wagertalk.com. Promo code FLAG77. FLAG77 gets you seven days all sports. That's baseball and basketball for just $77. Go to my page right now. Use code FLAG77. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to Wager Talk TV. And most importantly, leave me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts for the Saturday night and Sunday baseball card this weekend. Let me know who you like. And I'll be back soon right here on Wager Talk TV with more free content for you on a daily basis. Good luck this weekend and have a safe and profitable Memorial Day weekend.